Hey there friends, in today's quick tech tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to insert stock quotes right here into your Apple numbers spreadsheets. All right, let's do it. Now remember, if you are interested in learning more about Apple numbers, and getting the skill set to use this correctly, please hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and make sure you see future videos that we will be making. All right, so today we're actually looking at how to insert stock quotes right here in numbers. And it's actually very, very simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this specific cell. Uh, what we can do is we can actually just choose a cell within our little spreadsheet here. You can see I just have something really uh, low little budget, kind of tracking some numbers here. Let's say I wanna actually look at the stock quotes over here. So what we're first gonna do is make sure that box is highlighted. And then this is what's really nice about Apple numbers. They make this so easy. We're gonna come up and we're just gonna click on the insert button. And this is gonna bring up some options for us to choose from, including stock quote down here. Now this should be defaulted on your menu. If it's not, I'm gonna show you the formula here in just a second. So once you click on that, it's gonna bring up some favorite stocks here. You can see there's a number of different ones to choose from. Or what we can do is we can come up here and we can type in the company or symbol that we want to use. Uh, I'm gonna look up Apple, and so I'll just type in Apple. You can see it comes up here at the top. I can select it, and then automatically all that information is going to go in. Now, as you can see, the default is for it to just show up as a single number. Now this obviously means nothing, so you'd have to label it in the surrounding boxes, or you can choose some of the other options that are available. But double click this box, again, we get this really nice drop down menu. And what we can do is we can actually show the price, or I can use this drop down menu here. And as you can see, we have a number of different things that we can choose from that will allow that specific format to show up. So let's say we want to see the name of the stock. I can click it there. Let's say we want to see the percentage change. You can see it there for the day. You can see the high for the day, or we can see the low for the day. So there's a number of different options which are really, really nice, again, to use right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on price here. Now, again, this is great. Once you double click, you get a lot more information, but let's say you just want to type in the formula and adjust that as necessary. Let me click on this, and as you can see, this is the formula that we're looking for. You're gonna have that stock, brackets, the stock name in quotations, a comma, and then you're gonna have price with another bracket at the end there. Again, we can just hit that green button and that's how it will show up. Lots of different options on that one, lots of different editing things that you can do. Again, we just wanna show you the basics here. Hope this has helped. Again, if it has, hit that thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe because we've got a ton more videos that are coming out here soon showing you how to use Apple numbers to its full extent. Thanks for watching, friends. See you again on the next one.